Hello and welcome back to Codeblaze. So continuing on with the series creating voxel chunks or minecraft like terrain in Unreal Engine using blueprints. So last episode we pretty much created all of the helper functions and defined all of the member variables required to achieve the chunk generation. And in this episode we'll be implementing the get face vertices and the create face functions. So at the end of the video you'll be able to create cubes and faces anywhere you, in you want in the world. So we'll start with get face vertices and I'll just start with by defining the inputs and outputs for this function. So the first input would be direction and it would be of the type direction enum that we created in the last episode. Uh, then the next input would be scale. This would be of type integer. Now you can have your scale as a float but I have defined the member variable scale also as an integer and there's a few benefits of it. So most of the positions that I'll be using throughout the algorithm would be vector int, uh, int vectors rather than proper vectors. So I'll try to keep everything as an integer since it takes less, less space than a float. Now a float versus integer like the space consumption won't be a big deal in most of the cases but here in case of voxel terrains the amount of iterations that will happen to generate the, that mesh data is going to be significant enough to make that uh, data consumption uh, point of concern so it's up to you like do you want if you don't need to have like float scales or float positions you can go for having them as integers since the block data that I have provided will create uh, cubes at uh, inte integral position so the coordinates of the cubes will be always integers so keeping that in mind the last variable that we are, or the input we'll have is the position and this would be of type int vector int vector and we'll have one output which will be the vertices and this will be of the type vector now we can't have these as integers because the uh, procedural mesh component requires uh, the vertex data as a vector array so again we need to this to be an vector array and we'll define one local variable called data this can be type of a vector array and we'll basically get this and this is what we'll return so all we need to do in this function is now to populate this data array to do that we'll break this execution pin and do a for loop and we want this loop to run uh, four times for the four vertex positions of a face so we'll put the last index as three in unreal engine the for loops runs inclusive of the last index so this 0 to 3 means the for loop will run four times and once the loop is completed we will basically return now in each iteration of the loop there's a few things that we need to do first we need to come up with the you know the vertex positions so to do that first thing we'll do is convert the direction to an integer to int so this will just give the integer value of the enum and why we need to do this is for that i'll just open up my notepad so what we have here is this uh, two dimensional triangles array which has six one dimensional arrays. Now each of this one dimensional array represents uh, one of the face of the cube which is one of the direction. So according to the direction value we'll select one of these one dimensional arrays and depending upon the iteration of the for loop like the index of the for loop we'll select one of the numbers inside these one dimensional array. So suppose uh, Suppose this third one dimensional array stands for the direction up and we are on the third iteration of the for loop. The number we'll get is 6. Now we'll use this number to query the vertices array and we'll take the sixth vertex position which is this one and this is what we'll add it to the data array which is the local variable and we'll return this to the uh, which will be finally added to the vertex data. So the for loop iteration will give four numbers and that way we'll select four vertex positions and we'll be able to create our face. Now the only slight difference is the triangles array in our blueprints is a one dimensional array. So I don't know either we are using the row major or the column major order if you want to get technical but the only thing we need to do is multiply this by four because that is the width of our one dimensional arrays. So we'll do this multiplication by 4. Next we'll add the index. Okay now the number that we get out of here is the one that we'll query the triangle data with. So we'll 
get this i'll drag a pin called get copy and yeah so again this will output a number and we'll use that number to query the vertex data so we'll do another get get a copy okay so now that we have gotten a vertex position the only thing is required now is to multiply it by a scale so we multiply the vector by an int and we drag our scale all the way here and next we basically add a vector and we'll add our offset position so we can basically directly drag the int vector here it will automatically convert it and now that we have our vector we basically need to add it to the array so we'll take the data and do the add function and we'll add this and we'll execute this add on the loop body so every time this loop executes a new vector element would be added to the data array and finally it will be returned so we'll select all this and i'll press alt f so that will format it okay so for formatting i'm using a plugin called format graph you can find that on the marketplace and i'll just leave it like this so you can like take a feel of how the final graph is laid out we are doing a for loop execution on each body on like on execution of each uh, index we are basically adding a vector to the uh, data array and how we compute that vector is a through a series of computations we basically multiply the direction by four and we add it to the index then we query the triangle array and the result is then used to query the vertex array so this is a uh, get face vertices function next we'll be implementing the create face Again, the first thing we need to do. Oh, I forgot one thing. Since this uh, get face vertices isn't modifying any of the you know member variables. No, I'm talking about the variables, not the local variables. We can mark it as a pure function. So we'll compile this and save it. Next, we'll go on to create face, and this will have the same inputs as get face vertices. So first will be direction. This would be of type direction and that won't be an array it will be a single value next thing the scale this will be of type integer and the next thing's position this would be of type int vector okay so the first thing we'll do is call this function only the get face vertices pass in the direction pass in the scale we pass in the position and then we'll get a mesh vertex data and we'll basically append an array to this we'll call append array and do the execution so create face would be a word function it's not going to return anything but it will modify the member variables so it won't be a pure function and with this we have our vertex data ready next thing we'll get do is create a uv data so we'll again call append array on this and the array will use make array and we'll be basically adding four uh, vector 2d okay. yeah so the uv data that i'm going to enter now is according to my block data that i have created so if you have some other block data if you are using your own block data your uv data may be different and to verify whether your uvs are correct or not uh, I won't be setting any material on the default chunk, so you will be getting the default Unreal Engine that grid pattern. So if the grid pattern comes along straight, that means your UV data is correct. Now, if you have something like Texture Atlases set up, then you can do add the UV data of your Texture Atlases. Uh, so that is something that I may do in this series. I'm not hundred percent sure because I haven't done that myself in Unreal Engine. So I'll look into it. Or if you have a solution for that, you can leave that down below in the comments. So it will just help me. So the UV data we are going to have is 1, 1, then 1, 0, then 0, 0, and then finally 0, 1. So with this, our UV data is ready. And finally, what we need to do is set up our triangle data. So we'll get this and we'll again append an array. Okay. And we'll make this uh, now the triangle data can be added in two ways since we know the triangles that we are using in the get face vertices you can have get face vertices return the triangles or there's another way in which we can do that so we'll basically take the vertex data and get its length okay now we'll subtract the length by four 
so that will represent the last four vertices that have been added next we'll add an integer to this and we'll I'll duplicate this addition three times more so basically I'll have four such nodes and we'll connect this to the top of each of this and I'll use this to call create the make array and we'll be adding six values that is two triangles make one face and I'll be changing these additions to three this would be two this would be two and this would be one and the way I'll be filling this make array so do keep in mind the order again this order is unique to the block data that I have so this will go to the first index this will go to the second index this value goes to the third index this goes to the fourth this goes to the fifth and this value again goes to the sixth index now how these values make up the correct triangles is something that i won't be covering in this series but i'll leave a video link down below which goes over the anatomy of a basic cube and how uh, cube mesh can be created in runtime provided that video is for unity but the concepts are same for unreal engine also so with this uh, our create function uh, create phase function is implemented so we'll compile this and go to the construction script to just test it so what we'll do is for each direction so this will basically run a for each enum loop and on each uh, loop body it will output uh, the direction in one of the direction enum so in the loop body what we'll do is create phase and we'll give this as the direction and we'll get the scale we'll get the scale and position i won't provide anything if you don't provide anything to the position it would be zero 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 that's the origin and once it's completed we'll get the procedural mesh component and we'll call create mesh section and we'll call that on the loop completion next all we need to do is uh, pass in the vertex data the triangle data and the uv data to the corresponding nodes and that's it with this if we compile and go to the viewport you'll see uh, we have created a cube and that's all for this video now i basically I'll save this also and you can see if i drag this blueprint into the world we'll get that cube and you can see the grid pattern is also properly overlaid so that means our uh, uvs are also correct and depending upon the position the cube moves and with that we have all the basic setup done for our chunk generation in the next episode we'll be going over generating the noise map using the fast noise plugin and if you like the series do leave a like and share it with your friends it really helps the channel grow and if you have any other suggestions or if you have some suggestions to actually optimize this process you can leave them down below in the comments and do subscribe for the next and upcoming videos thank you